We used to try everything. I mean, basically, if you're a guitar, bass and drums band, you've got to come up with something a bit different each, each time so that all the tracks don't sound the same. And we used to have amps everywhere and in rooms up stairwells and bathrooms and outside we've recorded and, you know, just, yeah, we were... We worked with good engineers, too, who would be prepared to <laughs> put up with all this stuff. Again, uh, one of the advantages of not working in a recording studio all the time is if you were in an old house, you could find a cupboard that you could stick a, a guitar amp in. Or in Headley Grange, uh, like the, the, the sound which wrote the song, really, of um, When the Levee Breaks, that whole song just came from the drum sound because we'd set him up. We were doing another song and there was a lot of leakage from the drums. So we set him up in another room, in, well, in, in the hall. Uh, it looked like um, there's a big stairwell. It's it about 30, 40 foot high. And there was, there was one mic, there was two mics on the drums, one at 10 foot and I think one at 20 foot. No bass drum mic. They were both above him, up the stairs. One, basically one hanging on the first floor and one hanging on the second floor. <laughs> And that was it. And we just started playing. Jesus, will you listen to that sound? And then, I can't remember who started the riff. That's how that song came about. And so, yeah, through experimentation.